Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning English Pro. Today we're going to expand your driving vocabulary with words and phrases that are crucial for navigating the roads confidently. I have already published a few lessons on cars, so make sure to check those out. The link for those are in the description below. Also in the description, you'll find the complete word list and sentence examples for this video. Great for revising. So with all that business out of the way, let's buckle up and dive into our essential driving vocabulary. Our first word is a verb, to merge. When you're driving, you'll often come across lanes that merge into each other. Merge means to smoothly blend your vehicle into another lane, cooperating with the flow of traffic. Okay, let's take a look at our first sentence example. You need to merge into the traffic coming from the left. Let's move on to our second term, which is another verb, to yield. Yield is a vital rule of the road. It means to slow down or stop if necessary, to let other vehicles proceed before you. Always remember to yield to traffic when entering a busy intersection. Our example is, the driver didn't yield at the entrance and caused an accident. Our next term is the verb to accelerate. When you press the gas pedal to increase your vehicle's speed, you're accelerating. Proper acceleration helps you merge onto highways and navigate through traffic. The car accelerated as soon as it merged onto the highway. Our next English word can be considered both a verb and a noun. As a verb, it means to reduce your vehicle's speed by pressing the brake pedal. The brakes, as a noun, are the components that help you slow down or stop. Let's use the noun definition for our sentence example. The brakes on the car need to be replaced. Traffic refers to the vehicles on the road at any given time. Learning to navigate through different levels of traffic is a crucial driving skill. There was a lot of cars on the road, but the traffic moved well. Something similar is a traffic jam. This occurs when vehicles are unable to move due to congestion. It's important to stay patient and alert during traffic jams. And our example sentence is, the traffic jam in the tunnel made me late for work. To overtake is an irregular verb that's used in British English when driving. When you pass another vehicle by moving past it, you overtake it. Now, as I mentioned, this is British English. In American English, they would use the verb to pass. Let's use both in an example sentence. So first up, we have the British English. I overtook the truck because it was driving so slow. And in American English, I passed the truck because it was driving so slow. A lane is a designated part of the road for vehicles to drive in. You need to stay within your lane to maintain order and safety on the road. Our example is, the new road had multiple lanes and the traffic moved much quicker. Our next term is roundabout, which is British English. A roundabout is a circular intersection where traffic flows in one direction. In American English, a roundabout can be referred to as a traffic circle or a rotary. Once I reached the roundabout, I was almost there. Our next term is a noun, a pedestrian. This is a person who is walking on foot. As a driver, you must always be careful and vigilant for pedestrians, especially at crosswalks and intersections. Let's check out our example sentence. There are fewer pedestrians around in the evening. An intersection is where two or more roads meet. You need to approach intersections cautiously and follow traffic signals. The intersections in Tokyo have lots of space for pedestrians. 
For our next term, we have another difference between American and British English. In American English, the term is signaling, and in British English, it's indicating. Signaling involves using your vehicle's turn signals or indicators to communicate your intentions to other drivers. It helps prevent confusion and accidents. Let's take a look at both of these terms in example sentences. First up, the British English. The driver was indicating that they wanted to turn left. And in American English, the ambulances were signaling that there was an emergency. A U-turn is a complete reversal of direction, often performed at designated points. If you need to do a U-turn and turn around completely, you need to check for signs indicating whether U-turns are allowed. Our example sentence is, the fire truck did a U-turn and returned to the station. Our final term for this lesson is speed limit, which is a noun. The speed limit is the maximum legal speed you can travel on a specific road. You must always adhere to speed limits for your safety and that of others. The speed limit is expressed as miles per hour or kilometers per hour. After the accident, the speed limit was lowered to 40 miles per hour. And there you have it, a comprehensive list of essential driving vocabulary that every beginner should know. Practice using these terms as you gain more experience on the road. Remember, safe driving is about effective communication and responsible navigation. Thanks for tuning in to Learning English Pro. And until next time, remember, keep learning English like a pro.